Hello guys, Adam here from Sapphire Glade Comics. Welcome back to another trade paperback review video. Uh, this is a follow-up to my last one, so they will be uploaded together. So two videos on Sunday, how about that? Um, so this one is going to focus on Captain Marvel trade paperback 2. Again, written by Kelly Thompson with art by Carmen Canero, Anna Paolo Martillo, Martello, and some more uh, colors by Tamara Bonvillain. And this is uh, the second review, because I read this one too shortly after finishing uh, the, that trade paperback. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and let you look over the book. There we go. There's the main cover. This one's titled Falling Star. Very ominous. <clears throat> Your spine. There you go. Sorry. Just gonna. Oof. Daylight. Well, anyways, there's the spine. There we go. That's better. Yeah. There's the spine. And there's the back. And uh, this has um, the tie-in or tie-ins to War of the Realms, which when I first picked this up, I'm like, did I pick up the right Captain Marvel trade paperback? And then I remember, just as I was skiing to comics, it was right in the middle of a huge Marvel event called War of the Realms, which now has an omnibus that's, what, over a thousand plus pages, but collects the entire event all in one thick Omni. I would love to get that Omni, but uh, there's no way in hell that I'd be able to read a thousand pages. That would have to, I would have to read that in a short burst. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, tell you what this book is all about by starting off with reading the back like I always do. Fans get a glimpse of the person underneath all that power, showing just how human and relatable Carol is and reminding us why we fell in love with the character all those years ago. Captain Marvel enlists in the War of the Realms. The Dark Elf, the Dark Elf King Melketh and his allies have conquered Earth, and they've divided the spoils accordingly, with the Enchantress raising an army of the dead and staking a claim on South America. But Earth isn't going down without a fight, and Captain Marvel leads Black Widow and Doctor Strange into the land of the dead for a melee of myth and magic that Carol Danvers will never forget. Then, when her Cree heritage is exposed to the world in dramatic fashion, Carol goes from beloved hero to public enemy number one. And as a new hero named Star steps into the limelight, Carol can't help but wonder, does the world even need Captain Marvel? This, trade paperback, collects... Captain Marvel 2019 issues 6 through 11. So let's go ahead and uh, get on in there. Again, this trade paperback tells you where you can find the beginning of Captain Marvel's story. So we will go ahead and jump right into it. There is issue number... Six is uh, cover. And straight into none other than a zombie apocalypse with Black Widow doing Black Widow things. So basically, uh, this arc starts out with um, it ties into War of the Realms, so it's not part of what this arc is in this book. But it is the War of the Realms tie-in. And we uh, just kind of watch how Black Widow and the team uh, fights Enchantress. And uh, there's a vision that they share about how Enchantress is eventually defeated. But more on that later. And since they know that they're kind of outnumbered, they 
go for the retreat. And, you know, Carol Danvers is sound asleep. She doesn't want to be bothered at all, as you can see from there. <laughs> Apparently there's something called Avengers Mountain, and in She-Hulk, there's Avengers Mansion. So basically Black Widow's telling Captain Marvel, yo, need you here in, South, in Rio de Janeiro in South America to help us uh, put a stop to this crazy enchantress. And we uh, see her fight side by side with Doctor Strange. Very nice. And... Uh, Enchantress is, doesn't want to deal with Captain... Doesn't want to... Does not want to uh, deal with uh, Doctor Strange locking away so she launches a very powerful mind swap magic and this is hilarious what happens here uh basically carol danvers and stephen strange got body swapped so you got sorcerer supreme and carol danvers body and you got a uh, earth's mightiest avenger in Doctor Strange's body. So they have a discussion about how they each have very different powers from what they're used to. And uh, Doctor Strange is uh, telling Carol's like, hey, it's kind of amazing how this feels. Which is a little awkward, but here, let me show you that page so you don't worry about anything. So there's that, there's that page. So uh, Doctor Strange just tells Carol some basic spells and Carol talks to Doctor Strange about what he can do in her body. And this last page is hilarious right here. Um, hopefully, I'll try to get the camera to zoom in on it. That's Carol experimenting with magic right there. So feel free to read that. <laughs> I, laugh. I laughed so hard when I saw that. And there's a cover for... And there's the uh, variant for issue number six, which is... Uh, Andy... Addy Granov, number six variant. Very cool. And then we hop into issue number seven. And there's the cover for issue number seven. And Carol Danvers puts up a soft shield. This is the most basic of magic, according to Doctor Strange. And here's Doctor Strange uh, testing out Carol's powers, since he's in his bo in her body, you know. So they uh, defeat that zombie horde of monsters, and they go ahead and uh, call camp. And uh, while they're camping, uh, Carol and Doctor Strange are just kind of discussing the state of the situation. So, and the pay attention to the background there. Oh, there we go. Pay attention to the background there. You can see Black Widow uh, going to the river and fighting a crocodile or alligator, whatever they're called down there. And it continues. Their conversation continues. They're completely oblivious to what the hell uh, Black Widow's doing, so there's that. And Black Widow eventually uh, resurfaces out of the water, dragging the crocodile that she just uh, killed. Basically telling her, it's like, I got dinner. You're going to eat it. And then we run into Enchantress again, and uh, 
a battle breaks out again with the Chantress, so there's that. Try not to hit the space bar on that. There we go. And uh, instead of uh, kind of uh, doing a thing with uh, Enchantress by kind of capturing her, they decide to use her entire army against her. A mutiny, as pirates call it. And she loses her cool on the very next page, so there's there. And after that big attack, um, Carol and excuse me, Captain Marvel and Doctor Strange had their bot their own individual bodies back, which is fantastic for them. So there's that. And we move on to our next page where Carol has a cough and you can't see it very well, but that is a bloody tissue that she just coughed into. So she's slowly starting to lose her powers. Why is she losing her powers? Who knows? We move into issue eight. So there's issue number eight's uh, cover by Sean is a kiss. He's a Oxy and Marcio Menez. Here's a, uh, this was probably a uh, cover B. And uh, this is uh, Captain Marvel start, fall, start, uh, the start from Captain Marvel's fall from stardom, pretty much. And she's not sure how to handle that. She's uh, being removed from her position as a colonel in the United States Air Force. Uh, the world does not trust her anymore after she had a fight with these uh, mecha monsters, which are controlled by Kree pilots. And we kind of see her uh, start to show symptoms of something's not quite right with her. And here we have our new superhero, Star, who in issue eight, it's considered, it was considered a key of the week. It's probably a cheaper key to get now. Uh, but it's the first full appearance of Star in full costume. And uh, she tries to join Star in fighting these monsters but due to her powers kind of leading her um she starts to fall and uh spider woman's like oh i gotta do something crazy so spider woman goes after her and we get a picture of hazmat doing things in spider woman rescued captain marvel And there we go. There's a star introducing herself right there on that page. So if you still have your Captain Marvel issue eight from 2019, uh, you probably have a 10 to $30 book, depending on what cover you got and depending on what it's going for on the market right now. Um, I could look that up, but uh, I don't have time right now. So uh, this is where uh, people find out that she's Cree, and people are not okay with that. So how does she bounce back from that, you wonder? Well, she could she tra takes out her uh, frustrations with She-Hulk in a little sparring match, but uh, she gets easily winded by that because her powers are are weakened. And we're then uh, reintroduced to Dr. Minerva, who is a Cree person just like Carol Danvers. 
who's there to help Carol, but Carol does not want her help right now. All right. Here's uh, two covers for issue nine. Very nice covers. I like uh, I like this one on the. What I'm reading is it's on my right. And that looks cool too. So, uh, in the following issue, uh, Captain Marvel is uh, trying to find uh, Dr. Minerva, who still has one of those Kree alien creatures in there. And there's kind of going over uh, what's affecting her, why she doesn't, why her powers are not 100%. And uh, Spider Woman and Iron Man are doing some investigation by looking at some brain scans of Carol. And then there's another one of those uh, beasties, but she's unable to fight because she's so weak. And to add insult to injury, uh, Star comes in and saves the day yet again. And uh, then we have Tony Stark show up in his Iron Man suit, being like, Carol, you need to come with me. We need to run tests. I need to see what's wrong with you. And she eventually obliges. And during some uh, routine scans... They discover a sort of infection inside of her heart, shaped like the star on her chest. So she reaches out to find Dr. Minerva again, and we come into Captain Marvel's uh, little uh, bat cave looking base of operations. And uh, we find out that Dr. Minerva is partially dead, but not dead. So here's that. And here is a cover A to issue number 10. Very nice. So uh, Captain Marvel takes uh, Dr. Minerva back to uh, Tony Stark's lab for uh, examination and, you know, uh, help with treatment. And Captain Minerva drops the truth on Captain Marvel, explains who Star is, what that thing in her chest is, and how Star is able to absorb her powers from Captain Marvel uh, because uh, Dr. Minerva's goal is to have someone just as strong, but 100%, just as strong as Captain Marvel, but 100% dedicated to the freedom of the Kree race. And, like I said, she realizes that it's Star that got the uh, other implant that lets her absorb her power. So uh, Captain Marvel calls Star down for a battle, and Star pretty much has the gets the upper hand on that. And Captain Marvel kind of does something, and kind of reaches into her own heart and pulls out that Kree infection, and they all crash down to Earth. Star's not happy about it. But since Star says, like, well, if I can't absorb from you, I'll just absorb from everyone. So there's that one. And there's a variant cover for issue number nine. Very nice. It has all the uh, Avengers. And, oh, I think that's the entirety of the uh, Marvel characters in some of the mainline series that are out right now. 
that's pretty cool. And now we're in issue number 11. And uh, Captain Marvel doesn't like Star using the people against her for an unexplained means. So... They have a battle. Continu a continuation of a battle. Uh, Hazmat jumps in to help Captain Marvel. And... Star won't leave Captain Marvel alone, and Captain Marvel winds up uh, tearing out Star's own receiver and destroying it. Not going to show those pages because uh, that would be very spoiler. But Star is not dead. Like I said, Star had her own. Uh, five issue miniseries, but I guess it obviously didn't sell very well, and just kind of takes off because Star is in a way the reality stone. So here's uh here's a couple more variant covers. All right, so that's a long overview. Wow, this video has been twenty minutes long. Um, but anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. I personally really love this issue, this uh, trade paperback as well. I'm, again, glad that I am starting to read Captain Marvel, the current run. Because it is very good. It's, it's a fantastic read. I think Captain Marvel is written well. Uh, the artwork is good. The action is good. The story has nice buildup. Uh, exposition, climax, and conclusion, and exposition. It's just a all-around, generally good comic book. So, yeah, if you guys want to buy this and read it yourself, um, again, I'll have an Amazon link to purchase it down below. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Uh, if you want to support the channel financially, I do have a Patreon link in the description below. Uh, $3 a month grants you full 24 access to any video that I upload before it's made public. So there's that. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching again. Um, hit the like button if you liked this video. Hit the dislike button if you didn't. Uh, you can also hit the notification bell in the upper right-hand corner to be informed of when I go live with any of my uh, videos that I post. Because I do do, um, I still do new, I still do do new comic book day reviews. It's just that sometimes life happens and I can't afford them weekly and I can't get them read. Uh, quickly enough to do a review because I don't get to get my comics till Wednesday night um, most of the time or Saturdays just because of the way that my comic my LCS operates but uh, thank you guys for watching I also do some light novels as well but anyways guys uh, I think this is like the fifth time in the last minute that I said thanks for watching have a good week and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye